iOS 17.5 beta is officially out now, so here's what's new in the latest update from Apple. For those in the EU, iOS 17.5 now gives users the ability to download apps from developer websites. In iOS 17.4, Apple began allowing developers to offer their apps through alternative app marketplaces in the EU to comply with the Digital Markets Act. Now, Apple initially intended for apps to only be available through these marketplaces, but in March, Apple said that it would in fact be adding support for downloading apps directly from websites. Apple will provide authorized developers with an API that allows them to offer their apps for download via the web. Apps downloaded this way will be able to be backed up restored, updated, and more. Honestly, the rest of iOS 17.5 beta one is pretty small in terms of changes. The widget for podcasts will now change colors to match the color style of the show that you're listening to. So for example, if you're listening to, oh, I don't know, the Mac Rumor Show podcast, be sure to follow if you haven't already. Uh, we have this nice red color for the widget, but obviously if I change to a different podcast, the widget will then adopt that color theme for that podcast. A minor change, of course, but it's still worth mentioning. For those looking for that stopwatch dynamic island feature that was actually there a little bit ago and then was removed, uh, it still has not made its way back into the dynamic island. So if you're on uh, the stopwatch and then you go to swipe up to go to the home, usually it would slide up there to the dynamic island. It's still not doing that. A few things in settings. There's now a glyph icon for the pass keys access for web browsers setting, uh, which was kind of strange that there wasn't a glyph icon there, but now there is. And there's a random bug here in the charging optimization portion of the battery settings that seems to be showing us the code for that part of the UI as opposed to like being the actual text that we would all see and what we have seen before. And again, very minor update, uh, unless you're in the EU and can take advantage of downloading apps directly from developers' websites now, which I hope is something that would come to us in the future here, uh, you know, along with all the other EU changes, to be honest, but not really expecting that anytime soon. And so, of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think about iOS 17.5 Beta 1? What are you hoping will get introduced in Beta 2, Beta 3, etc.? Let us know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys around in the next video.